Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, today I want to talk about enrichment. It's very important to uh, enrich your animals' lives and to stimulate them emotionally and physically. And then the spiritual aspect comes into play, of course, when those things become balanced too. So um, each animal will have different ideas of or desires as to how to be enriched mentally and physically. Um, you know, I have a very intelligent uh, husky shepherd and she loves learning things. She also loves, you know, going places where there are intense smells. She just loves anything. So I can bring her anywhere and to her she really becomes mentally and physically stimulated. Any type of training class will mentally stimulate your animal. You know, you may not have an animal that's going to be an agility expert or do obedience, but you can teach your animal simple things. You know, it can be just everyday simple things, and they love that because it makes them think and it makes them feel like they've accomplished something. So think about that. It's really important every day to stimulate them, not only physically, but mentally. Speaking of dogs, um, a lot of times we don't exercise our dogs nearly enough of what they need. So if you do have a high energy dog or a dog that's destructive in the home, it's really important that you give them a way to expel that energy. Whether it's walks or playtime, and it may have to be a few times a day. Um, so if you are working long hours, you may want to have a dog walker come in, um, or set up a play date for your dog, or even daycare. You know, if they need that interaction. With some of your older dogs, they're not going to need as much, but they're still going to need something. You know, to stimulate them physically. Um, so it's really important to consider that. And this goes for cats as well. You know, I know some cats that <laughs> tear the place apart um, and they become quite uh, frisky. So think about toys that they want to play with. They do want to play. You know, they want to, they want to use their hunting skills if they're indoor cats. So give them games that they can play. I have a blind kitty and she loves to play. So, um... I get her toys that she can hear. Um, I get her little crinkly balls. I don't know if you can see it down there. I also roll up newspaper and she will play for hours fetching it and bringing it back. So even with cats, play, uh, play time and enrichment time is very important. Another cool thing you can do with your cats is to um, you know, if you have boxes, I don't know if you're like me, I order everything from Amazon, so I have boxes coming all the time, but I will turn them upside down, I'll cut little holes in them, I'll put little toys in there, and it's like a very inexpensive cat condo or cat in, uh, activity center. So that's another thing you can do. Um, sometimes I'll let my cat into the garage with the door shut, of course, so she gets new things to smell and experience out there. Um, so these are just a few things to consider and fun ways to enrich your animals' lives. Pick up new toys for them, think about new games, um, things that will really um, allow them to use all of their senses. So think about that with your animal and think about ways that you can enrich their lives maybe that you're not already doing. And I promise you, you will have happy animals. Thanks for watching.